Yeah, and that kind of leads me to what we're on right now, Zoom, which mm -hmm. nine times out of ten, you'll have to end up probably having, I know some people probably been doing this, Zoom interviews. <laughs> yes. So yes. how do you prepare for like a Zoom interview? Because I know it has to be completely different from an in-person interview. Oh, I think it is, absolutely. It's, it's different, I would say. But the, the answer to my question is going to be the same. Um, you would be surprised, though, at how many people don't or wouldn't do these things. So I would say that when you prepare for a Zoom interview, you want to make sure you do three main things. Okay, so preparing for the interview, number one, dress from head to toe. Okay? okay, and I have to say head to toe, and here's why. I have seen, you know, on social media and different places where people may dress from here to their waist because you're, you're not going, going to see the lower half of my body. Um, but there has been horror stories to where um, I'm a part of an online teaching group in Facebook where one of the teachers um, forgot to wear pants to class. Um, he didn't forget. He didn't forget to wear pants. He, he was in his underwear and up top because his student couldn't see him. Oh, man. <laughs> um, but he had to rush and go to the bathroom and totally forgot he didn't have um, the bottom half of his clothing on. So therefore, what do you think happened to his student when he abruptly jumped up to go use the restroom? So I would, oh, wow. yes, yeah. So I would just say that, you know, the best thing you can do, you, you never know when things are going to happen. I've actually been on an online interview before COVID-19, um, but the person that wanted to interview me, I believe was in Washington, D.C., and he wasn't in the local office. So um, mm -hmm. I had an interview where my, my doorbell was ringing, and it was ringing to the point to where he actually stopped and said, do you want to get your doorbell? <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> but again, I'm saying this just to say if only the lower half of, if only the lower half of your body is appropriate, you don't want to have to get up and they see that or, you know, they'd be exposed to something or, you know, it just, it, it, it will throw them off. Okay. So that's number one, dress from head to toe, dress to impress. Um, basically make sure, dress the same way you would dress if you were going to an interview. That's definitely key. I've also, um, for myself, I've hired um, a team of writers. I had someone who came to an interview in a baseball cap, and her hair underneath it was completely disheveled. Um, that's not going to make a good impression on the person that's interviewing you. I understand we're all at home, um, but could I have come to this, our conversation, um, looking like I just got, got finished watching Netflix? Of course I could. But would you want to speak to me about uh, dressing professionally? No. So why would I be interested in your services if you can't even take the time to kind of, you know, act like you're interested in the position? So that's the best thing to say. Um, so with the virtual interviews, that was number, so that was number one, dressing. And then for heart, I took a few notes, so I wanted to make sure I, um, number two, Okay, so number one was dressing. And then the third one is just, oh, find a good place. The second one is find a good place to host your interview. So you know that basically a, a, a wall to where there will be no one walking behind you. There won't be any distractions. Um, you can have a nice background, something for them to look at. I've even had people make comments on the wall. It's a great conversation starter. If there's a nice picture in your background, um, something to kind of ease the tension because you're still in an interview. Um, that's always great. So just make sure you have a clear, clean space behind you when you're doing your interviews. Um, and then the third one is, again, just the same as regular interviews. Prepare, prepare, prepare. Know all of those hard-hitting questions that people are going to ask you. Know the question, what's your greatest strength? What's your greatest weakness? Why are you leaving your current job? Or why are you interested in leaving your current job to come and work with us? Um, what book is on your nightstand right now? Some employers actually ask questions like that to try to gauge what your interests outside of work are. Or are you interested in, you know, are you an intellectual or, or interested in having different diverse conversations? They actually ask some of those questions. And you wouldn't believe 
how many people stumble on those questions. And the main question, tell me about yourself. Do not tell them that you like to play tennis on the weekends, okay? Wow. Make sure, <laughs> make sure you act. They're actually asking you to tell them about your professional career. They are not asking what, you're, what you like to do in your life outside of work. So just make sure you prepare for all of those questions. All right. Well, another thing I want to add to to that, like I've noticed on Zoom, is a lot of people, and you probably gonna answer this. Um, <laughs> show your face in the video. Don't put the wallpaper up or profile <laughs> picture that they just yes, see a picture yes. of you, and it's almost like it's an audio call, and you try to, I call it like fake the phone, fake the Zoom interview. Right, you know, right. Going on your background and stuff like that. Right. <laughs> exactly. That is a very good point. I didn't, I've didn't. i never encountered anyone doing that <laughs> as far as an interview is concerned. Yes, please don't do that. If they have set up, if they have gone through the time to set up a video call, please make sure you are prepared to be on the video. <laughs> please make sure you prepare for that. And, and technology is so great. Everyone has a smartphone now you have access to be able to have a, a, a Zoom call or an, a call via the internet through your phone. So just make sure you're prepared for that. Again, just set, if it's a, 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 um, a phone, just set it up in a place to where, you know, the frame is nice and you can see and they will be able to see you. But take the time out to do the same exact things that you would do to prepare for an interview. Do you know what's happening in Birmingham? Find out now with the all-new What's Happening Birmingham app. Download today on Android, iPhone, and iPad for free. Get info on everything you need to know about local news, events, businesses, restaurants, and more. Visit our website, whatshappeningbirmingham.com, follow us on Twitter at HappeningBham, or call us at 205-538-4508. Download the What's Happening Birmingham app today. What's Happening Birmingham, your source for everything Birmingham.